good morning from La Paz, Mexico. Beautiful views over the Malecon. And I'm here at the Seven Crown Hotel restaurant on the fifth floor and ordered myself a beautiful breakfast. So this is machaca chilaquile, which is basically chopped tortillas with this um, machaca dried meat from Baja California sewer. And I got a carrot and orange juice to go along with it. So delicious. After breakfast, I headed down to the La Paz Harbor to meet up with my guide from Tuna Tuna Tours, who would bring me 50 kilometers north of La Paz by boat to Isla Espiritu Santo, or Holy Spirit Island, largely considered to be one of the most biodiverse islands on planet Earth outside of the Galapagos. All right, I am on board the boat that's going to take me across to Isla Espiritu Santo, which is a protected nature reserve off the coast of La Paz. It's about a 45 minute to an hour boat ride. Uh, so they've arranged this amazing excursion that's gonna take me out there. I heard there's sea lions there, a lot of amazing biodiversity. So really looking forward to exploring the island for a few hours this afternoon and uh, hopefully getting some snorkeling in and uh, some time on the beach as well. All right, we are leaving La Paz. Dolphins jumping right here, right off the coast of La Paz. Just outside of the harbor, really. We're approaching Isla Espiritu Santo, Holy Spirit Island. Definitely some rough water here. It's really windy. And uh, it's definitely stirring up the pot here. Gorgeous coastline. Right, we're approaching this uh, hole in the rock right here, this art natural arch. We're gonna sail right through it. Pretty cool. Arch have something very peculiar. You know how is the shape of Baja California Sur? Oh yeah, sure, sure. Uh, yeah. Those the arch. shape of the state? Yeah, just take a look of the light of the sky between these rocks. Oh yeah. Like, oh, uh, I see. It kind of looks the same as Baja. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Very cool. All right, we are headed to the sea lion colony now. Right on that rock in the distance. Barking. Hi. Yeah, that's why they call them the dog of the sea, eh? Yeah. yeah. For me, they're more like sea dogs. Sea dogs, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Last time I saw this was like South Africa. Oh, yeah? When I was in South Africa. Oh, they're fighting. Really, wow. Very cool. So many of them. 800, wow. This one's just taking a suntan right here. Wow. <laughs> really cool to see them this close up, eh? Wow. Oh, hello. So cute, eh? My goodness. Hello. Hello. All right. I'm all geared up to go swim with the sea lions. Uh, and it's been a while since I snorkeled, so this should be fun. Let's do this.
married. So that was such a cool experience. I love snorkeling and honestly, it was so cool that the sea lions basically come right up to you. Like they were underneath my body on top of me. It was incredible. Like they literally get right next to your body. Highly recommend this tour. Just so cool just to be snorkeling among them. Really, really cool experience. All right, we're edging up to the sand and there we go. Gorgeous beach. This is the Grande Ensenada, I think he was saying. It's an amazing beach, beautiful. And it is a nature reserve, so they have a fence here demarcating the uh, area that you're allowed to actually use. This is completely uninhabited and not developed whatsoever. So amazing place. Lunch is ready. So what are we having? Yeah. So today we yep. have fish, ceviche. Ceviche, okay, so we raw fish salad, some, yeah. Yeah. We okay. also have some uh, burritos. Burritos, it's okay. It's a package with two burritos inside. Okay. One yeah. of beef and the other one is of beans and cheese. Okay. So Perfect. Tostadas for the ceviche, tostadas, yeah. cookies, um, Very salsas. cool. This is fresh yeah. water. And in the awesome. cooler we have some uh, beers and sodas, beers yeah. And sodas. Okay, yeah. very cool. Yeah, and this is the standard lunch when you come on the trip? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So this is exactly what you can expect. If you're coming on the Tuna Tuna Tour, you have the ceviche, you have some burritos, tostadas, and some refreshments. So really amazing lunch here and on this beautiful beach. So gorgeous. All right, after a really good lunch of ceviche and uh, burritos, I am ready for a swim here at this beautiful beach. It is so gorgeous here. It's unbelievable just how beautiful Ile Espiritu Santo is. Gorgeous. You can see our boat is uh, nudged up right here along the shore. Such a beautiful protected nature reserve and everything is, you leave it as you found it. So there's no garbage cans here, anything like that. We have to pack everything back up, but uh, respecting nature and this beautiful nature reserve. We actually are really lucky that they do allow this, but uh, there are some rules. You're not allowed to venture past the fence and you're not allowed to climb on these rocks and you're not allowed to take anything from the area. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a swim. Water is looking really inviting. So as you can see, it is definitely rush hour here at the beach. So he was just telling me that if you want to avoid this, consider Tuna Tuna Tours because their tour leaves at 9 a.m. So they get here two hours before everybody else. So that's reason right there to uh, consider them first for your tour here in La Paz. After packing up the boat, we began our journey back towards La Paz with a couple of other interesting stops along the way. The first was the naturally occurring rock formation called the Stone Mask, which was formed by sea erosion of the island's sandy cliffs. A bit further south, we set down our anchor for another round of snorkeling at one of Isla Espiritu Santo's largest coral reefs, where we explored an old shipwreck, spotted sea turtles, and were surrounded by hundreds of tropical fish while being mesmerized by the gentle crackling sounds of the coral below. All right, we are arriving back in La Paz. All right, I am at the marina in La Paz. That was an incredible day trip. I tell you, I go on a lot of these day trips and so forth. I go on a lot of tours. I have a lot of sponsors. And I have to say that that was one of the best tours I've ever been on. That was absolutely incredible, swimming with sea lions. <laughs> and I didn't even know about it. It was like, do you want to do this? And I said, sure. So. <laughs> Always say yes, folks. That was absolutely incredible. Wow. <laughs> 